Good evening, Secretary Castro. You have previously stated that you support race-based reparations for blacks who have suffered because of slavery, se segregation, and housing inequalities. In your opinion, what would be the best way to implement reparations? Yeah, thank you very, first of all, thank you for your support. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and also, thanks for the question. Yeah, so uh, this issue came up. People have asked me about reparations. And you know, the way that I think about this is um, that I believe that we have never fully addressed in this country the original sin of slavery. And that because of that, we have never truly healed as a country. Um, and I've said that you know, if we compensate people under our Constitution, uh, if we take their property, why wouldn't you compensate people who actually were considered property and sanctioned as property by the state? And sometimes people say, you know, they'll ask me, well, um, nobody today was a slave owner, and nobody today that's living was a slave. And I say, you know, if somebody is out there that's 25 years old and they say, why, why are you talking to me? You know, I never owned slaves. I'd say that, you know, that 25-year-old person uh, never fought in the Pacific. That 25-year-old person never had a hand in writing the Constitution of our great country. That 25-year-old person never marched with the women who were marching for the power to vote. They didn't march at the Edmund Pettus Bridge. But when that 25-year-old person goes around the world, in many places they're treated with great respect because they're an American. In other words, even though we weren't there in past generations, we've inherited a lot of moral assets. But you know what? We've also inherited some moral debts. And one of those debts that we've never paid is the debt for that original sin of slavery. So I support legislation that Sheila Jackson Lee, Congresswoman Jackson Lee from Texas, has introduced that would appoint a commission to study reparations. And that commission would make a recommendation to the president on how those reparations should be done. Mm -hmm. This is important because sometimes people say, well, uh, you know, what is the one best way to do it? And the process here is just as important as a result. I think of this in the way that I think of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of South Africa. There's a healing process that needs to happen. It's so it's important that we get it right with a group of people from throughout the country that are well respected in their communities well, to make that kind of recommendation, not that it's just the idea of one person. Well, let me jump in here because you mentioned what, what would it look like? What does that actually mean? Economists who study reparations say to adequately address the effects of slavery would cost trillions of dollars. Do you think America would be okay with that price tag? Well, I think what Americans would be okay with is some sort of um, acknowledgement, first of all, an apology for what happened, um, and some sort of direct acknowledgement for the pain that was caused. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the amount, what that would look like, I think that that's, that would be the role of the commission. Uh, to make a recommendation on. I don't think that that can come from one individual because it needs to be about healing as a country, not only one prescription for what we should do. All right.